In this video, I experiment with AI rendering using the recently released Veris app by Evolve Lab. You may have already seen the shared images of what this AI can do, but I was curious to test it out on my own models. Hi, my name is Serge and welcome to Power Surge, where I show you everything that I know about Revit. Let's dive in check out the results. Here I have a rather complex model of a conceptual football stadium. The app relies on perspective views created natively within Revit. In this model I have some predetermined views. Let's go with this one. Before jumping into the app I need to set up the view. Ensure that the perspective mode is on and also turn off the viewport crop and any sectional boxes. This can be managed using the Viz graphic overrides. And then from the graphic display options, ensure the model style is set to realistic and have show edges checked. Also turn on the shadows. From there, toggle the lighting settings. This is the recommendation from Evolve Lab. So let's go with that. Click apply to register these settings. Lastly, ensure the background gradient is applied. Now with the recommended settings applied, I can launch the app. This is the preview screen where Revit elements and the final renders are seen. To toggle this, right click on the mouse. On the right hand side, there are some sliders which control the AI. Dragging the cursor over the headers reveals the tooltip guide. For example, a high creative strength will enable the AI to produce something very different. We'll find out very soon as to what that actually means. To begin with, I am going to bring this down to 75. Next is style strength, which controls the strength of the text prompt, where a high value produces a more photographic quality. I want to start off slowly, so I will bring this value down to 25. Moving down the list, there are some toggles. Simply turn on the ones that apply to you. And finally, the props. This is used to generate the image aesthetic. And the key here is to understand that this works together with the style strength. I will now add some props and then review the result. So, being that this is a model of a football stadium, Let's start by prompting for a stadium. And I want a modern stadium. The stadium has some steel structure. And now for some atmospheric prompts. And then click render. And I have a result. Let's break it down. First thing that jumps out is that the stadium seating has been added, just here, which is cool. But this has also been added to replace the steps at the base here, which is not actually what's happening in my design. I noticed that the curved concrete trusses have been removed, except for the central one here, which has been replaced by a steel structure. This is not an accurate representation of what is modelled in Revit. And lastly, atmospherically, there is no summer sun, which is what I had prompted. Instead, the AI has delivered something quite hazy, so it appears that the AI has been confused here. So I will try troubleshooting this by hiding this element, and then test if this helps the AI in any way. Now back in the app, one of the things to point out is the render count remembering that I have 30 free renders. For the second render, I will also change out some of the prompts. 
steel didn't work all that well, so I will replace this with the word concrete. And I will also change the atmospheric prompt because that didn't work at all. Let's see what impact the words autumn and dusk have. And now there are some openings. I don't understand why the AI has calculated this inclusion. Down the bottom, here we also have some disk structures which have been arrayed when there is only one disk in the Revit model. Following on, the AI is still only recognizing one of the trusses. In regards to the overall look, the render complies with the modern wording, but it hasn't really deviated too much from the first render. And from an atmospheric point of view, there was no change, which is odd because I had prompted a change from summer in the first render, which you can see down here, to autumn in the current render. Let's see if I can improve this. Perhaps I need to be more specific in the prompts. This time I will use both concrete and steel, but also include truss in my wording. And I will also ask for a background, perhaps a city with fog. Well, I am curious. The AI has definitely come through with the city background and the creativity has kicked in, as displayed by the inclusion of a river. Overall though, this still looks very much like the first two renders. I'm going to try another view. Perhaps the AI is being confused by the orientation of some of the Revit elements and the way they catch the light. And it is important to note that this is all part of the process. This sort of thing is never quite as easy as it may seem. I need to go through the view setup again, so this part of the video has been accelerated. It would be a good idea to save your preferred view setup as a view template, so that the settings can be quickly applied to any number of views that you may need for a project. I am now back in the app, and without changing any settings, I am just going to instantly hit render. Wow! That is quite different. The change in view has really thrown the AI into overdrive. My initial thoughts are directed to the bird nest stadium in China. But interestingly, I can see more of the curved concrete trusses from the Revit model, but the image is still quite disjointed. What strikes me is that the style strength hasn't changed. I wonder what would happen if I increased this value. So I did just that. I increased the style strength to 40 and I did one more render. In addition, I added some more specific prompts. I included the word football and this was the result. It's the most accurate in terms of what a stadium actually looks like. And perhaps that has something to do with the fact that I increased the style strength, but the style strength if you remember, relates to how the prompts are applied. I think the previous image, the bird's nest, with a strength of 25, was more creative. But I think the AI is still missing a beat. In terms of rendering a clean, cohesive image, because half of the roof is missing. At this point, I thought that maybe I should try a more simplified model, but using more or less of the same prompts. And the only key difference here is the increased creativity strength and the inclusion of some topography. This is the best result so far. The AI has maintained the general form somewhat cohesively. It has recognized the U and V grids in the model 
and translated those creatively with the prompting of steel. However, too much creative strength was applied to the seating and pitch areas. So in conclusion, a good result is not that easy to achieve. It will at least definitely take more than the 30 trial renders to understand the controls. The orientation and complexity or simplicity of the view is very important. But where I do see an incredible advantage is to generate ideas. The AI's creativity is quite amazing. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content and I will see you in the next video.